Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. We are here today celebrating actually two years of making videos here at Yogi Cycle Service. And over those two years, I've been asked the question, Yogi, what the heck is that rope hanging from your handlebars? That is what is called a get back whip. If you don't know what a get back whip is, you've joined the right place. We'll get into it today. Welcome to Yogi Cycle Service. I am your host, Yogi. Here at Yogi Cycle Service, we do service, we do maintenance, we do repairs, we do just about anything motorcycle related or anything yogi related. If you are new here, I ask you to go around and check out some of my other videos on this channel. If you like what you see, hey man, give my brother some love. Hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you for stopping by and checking out this video here. So today we're gonna to talk about get back whips. What exactly are they? It's simple, it's just a long braided cord. They're made either from paracord or like this one, they're made from braided leather. Made to a certain length, you hang them off of your mirrors, you hang them off your brake lines, you hang them off your clutch lines. Typically, biker legend was that they were used by motorcycle clubs to identify their bikes. And we'll get into that in a minute. But you hang them, like I said, either off your brake lever or off your clutch lever. Typically, there's a, there's a fringe at the end. Usually hang them to about just above ground level or maybe about foot peg level. Now, why do people do this? Well, I don't know if it's, if it's biker truth or biker lore. Going back in history, motorcycle clubs used to hang these off their bikes. They do have a quick release on them. So you can pull this. So this will be going through your brake lever. All right, you pull the quick release, that pops up and now it's free. So it's free to grab and use like a whip. Hence why they call it a get back whip. Uh, many were used against, you know, when you're running down the road through a subdivision, a dog comes up and it starts chasing after you and the bike, pull the quick release, detach it, and you can use it to hit at the dog. Is what the biker lore is, or cars who are moving over into you, or whatever it is. Now, many get back whips, mine all have fringe. This one is made with paracord. This one is handmade by a friend of mine. This one also is a paracord one with leather at the end, also a fringe at the end. This one here is a leather one also with fringe at the end. Now what some people will do is you can take a ball bearing and you can put a ball bearing or maybe like a, a 3 8 inch, half inch nut on the end and put a nut on the flan on the fringe here. That way it has some weight. Typically if you don't have weight on the end, these will kind of, as you're riding down the road, fly like this in the breeze. You've probably seen that in some of my videos. With weight on the end, it'll hang, hang down more. Now, a weighted end obviously would be more of a weapon than a fringed end would be. And incidentally, you really want to check the laws in your area because I know for sure in California, a, a whip like this is considered an illegal weapon. So you need to check the area you live in before you decide to put one of these on your bike. You can order them off of eBay, but the, really the best thing to do is to make it yourself. They're really not hard to make. Get yourself 50, 100 feet of paracord. Look up a video online on like how to make a dog leash. And really, if you can make a dog leash, you can make a paracord thing. These quick releases, technically, they're actually from the farming industry. They are used, I believe, for horses, for like um, bridles. So you can get them at like farm and tax store. They sell these for four or five dollars. They do come in different sizes. Although they look the same, each one of these is a different one, a different manufacturer, uh, but they all they all operate the exact same way. Quick releases, snap. I think they're called snap release. I'm not sure. It's been so long since I bought one of these to make a whip. I don't remember the name of it. But yes, you, you do want to be careful in what state you live in. Uh, also, you want to make sure you, you can see all three of these, all different lengths. You want to make sure if you are making a long one that it won't get caught up in any of the mechanical functions of your bike, i.e. your front spokes or hang around your footboard or catch on to your wrap around your crash bar because I could have a bad day. So make, make sure that uh, the length is appropriate for whatever you do. Typically, um, most people will make these in club colors. Our, our club colors are black and gray. So you can see all of these are black and gray color. If you are not part of a motorcycle club, you're going to want to do some due diligence in your area and make sure that you're not buying a whip or making a whip in a club color that would be contradictory to where you live, is all I'll say. 
Um, a lot of these in, in old school, not only did the, is the biker legend that they used to use these to fight off dogs and cages, but also it's used to identify the bike. You know, if a full patch wasn't with his bike and you come up to a bike and you see, oh, black and gray. Okay, well, I know that's someone from this club. Or you come up and you see one that's black and white. Okay, I know it's somebody from this club. Or red and white or red and gold or whatever the colors of the club are. You know that when you see that whip, that's probably associated with somebody of that club. So you don't want to put on your bike the colors of a club that would not be friendly to the club in the area you live in. So do your research. You know, make it in red, white, and blue. You know, American, America. That, that probably will keep you out of trouble versus getting some of the other colors. But you are gonna wanna be careful what colors, if you decide to get one of these, you hold, that you put on your bike in your air. Cause I, I don't wanna get any, get any in trouble that, you know, you go to a bike night, you park there and somebody comes out and you're not with your bike and then suddenly your bike's getting vandalized because you got the wrong color whip on there because you weren't educated about that. So get educated on what colors fly in your area and make sure don't fly those colors flies try to find something neutral try to find something neutral so do some history uh, theoretically one of the other benefits to a whip is as that thing is whipping it, it potentially could be an eye attractant to a somebody in a cage to make you hopefully a little bit easier to see I don't think anybody ever saw me because of that thing was flying in the air but I have had plenty of people ask me about it so it does get noticed that is for sure People at a light will roll down the window. What's that thing hanging from your bike? Oh, it's called a get back whip. What's it used for? Eh, mostly just decoration, but in case you start moving over to me, I'm gonna pull it down and take your mirror off with it. <laughs> Never seen it done. It's kind of like people who go, oh yeah, I carry a whole bunch of BBs in my pocket. That way, you know, when there's a cage too close to me, I scoop them out and throw them out. I call baloney on that one too. The get back whip and taking off somebody's mirror kind of the same biker lore type thing but they look kind of cool they're fun to fly they sport your club colors that's why i have it so there you go yogi clan that's what that rope thingy is that hangs from my bike it's called a get back whip never flew one before i joined a club the only reason i fly one now is because it's club colors it's mostly just a decoration thing it's not a i use it as a weapon thing matter of fact when i took it off my bike to make the video today it had been on there for so long when i went to pull it it like didn't move i had a little bit of trouble Ugh. i need to oil it probably i had a little bit of trouble pulling the clip down because it's been hanging on there in the weather and the elements for probably i don't know 50,000 miles now and it was kind of it was kind of stuck <laughs> honestly i've never in my life used this as a weapon so or against any type of animal because, you know, as, when an animal comes, starts chasing me in a neighborhood, I'm trying to think of how to get away from it. Not how am I gonna pull this off, whip the animal and wreck my bike. It's a decoration, let's face it. That's really all it is. You know, the only time it can really be used as a weapon is if your bike is parked and you're hanging out near your bike and somebody starts picking a fight. And you can grab it off your bike and use it as a weapon. But when you're moving down the street, you ain't gonna, you're not going to use it as a weapon. No way. No. I don't see that happening. But that said, being a weapon, a weapon, you want to check your local laws. So like I said, I know for a fact California, it is illegal. So do not make one. Do not fly one in California. So there you go, Yogi Clam. I hope that helps explain. I thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you found it enjoyable, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.